you've done a business, you know the feeling of being doubted. Heard of Tough Mudder? Here, we speak to the guy who created it. He was doubted by everyone, including an old lady in Connecticut. What resonated most? Yeah. This this old lady telling you it was a bad idea, or the professors at Harvard telling you it was a bad idea? Well, you know, it's funny. Like one of the reasons, one of the things I observe a lot when people tell you about business ideas is they always default to uh, "Would I do this?" I, which you know, I, I remember when one of the girls in my year at Harvard Business School started a company called Rent the Runway. It's now worth like billions of dollars, and you know, like big business school like faculties three quarters male, yeah. student body, two thirds male. And of course, I would never rent a dress, right? And so for me, I was like, I don't get it. Yeah. Right? And I, I'm guilty of that. I did the same thing. I was like, who, who would, like, you know, I rent like, you know, once a year, I rent a suit for a wedding, right? That's it, right? People aren't gonna rent stuff every week. Yeah. You know, my then girlfriend, my wife was like, they will, uh, you see. And I think it was the kind of person that does a Tough mother. Right? And the kind of person that gets tenure at Harvard Business School have made pretty, uh, pretty different personalities yeah. with pretty different lifestyle choices. And honestly, I thought to myself, they're basically judging this idea on whether they would do an event that involved running in the mud, jumping through yeah. fire, getting zapped with electricity. And they're just saying, well, I wouldn't do that. Ergo, no one would do that. Um, and it was the same mistake they made with an event with a business that was skewed you know, at a female audience. Um, so I kind of found it easier to dismiss it. I think there's something that's very disheartening about kind of having driven for several hours <laughs> in this like semi-broken down car right, and then kind of wasted a day looking at this small speedway and then this woman kind of just kind of hardened, gnarly woman kind of yeah. pulling me in in this way. It will always stick with me. It almost makes me more nervous. So if I'm intending doing something or launching something, if I tell a lot of people about it, if everyone thinks it's a good idea, it makes yeah. me more, more nervous than if I get kicked back and bad feedback yeah. and kind of looks of confusion. Yeah, it's a funny one, right? Because by definition, you're going to do something new, right? you're going to break with conventional wisdom yeah. to some extent. Right? Um, and most people in life, and I don't begrudge them this, but most people in life basically get ahead by following the way. Right? And I, you work hard at school, you get into the right university, you work hard at university, you get the right first job. Right? And from that first job, you make your way to partner. You know? And like, that's the way it works. Right? That's kind of what most people's parents tell them to do. And you know, if you're an entrepreneur, by definition, at some point, you've kind of stopped following the path. For whatever your reasons, right? Yeah. You just have. And you know, that, just, that just means that people kind of find you a bit threatening if you start saying something. So you're right. If everyone's saying it's a good idea, then the real question is, well, why isn't everyone doing this already? Um, you know, and I'm amazed that you, know, you go and see. I'm sure you see this all the time. Every couple of years, like a business model comes along. And then you get all these like me too's that say, oh, I'm going to be, I remember when I started Tough Matter, everyone was going to be the Groupon of something, right? And then everyone was going to be the Uber of something, right? Or the Warby Parker of something. Or the Airbnb of something. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, and just like, I mean, yes, some of those will work, right? They find a smaller market, yeah. same business model. But actually doing something truly new, you know, and this word that gets overused all the time, disruptive, right? Everyone I meet says, I'm going to be really disruptive. <laughs> you know, like, it was bad when we were at school, but apparently it's good now we're adults. It's just kind of a bit odd that.